So to find the molecular geometry, or shape, of SO3, we'll look at the Lewis structure, and we're going to imagine those three oxygen atoms spreading out in three dimensions, trying to be as far away from each other as they can. And this happens because those oxygens are surrounded by electrons, and electrons are negative, and they'll repel each other. So when we imagine them spread out, we end up with something that looks like this. This is called trigonal planar. There's a plane, they're in a flat plane, and they're spread out as far away as they can. This isn't the correct colors for SO3, but it is the correct molecular geometry. So basically, the valence shell electron pairs around those oxygens are repelling each other, causing them to spread out, giving SO3 its molecular geometry or shape. We can also use the AXN notation to determine the shape of SO3. A, that stands for the central atom, the sulfur, X, that's the number of atoms bonded to that central sulfur. We have three oxygens. And N, those are the non-bonding electron pairs. And we don't have any non-bonding electron pairs on the sulfur, so we won't worry about N. So we have AX3 is our notation for the SO3 molecule. So you could have memorized that AX3 is trigonal planar, or you could look it up if you had a table. And we can go to our table here and see that AX3 is trigonal planar, and the bond angles are 120. So the bond angles are 120. That's the angle right here, and then on each side. So SO3 has a molecular geometry or shape of trigonal planar, and those bond angles are 120 degrees. So that's it. That's the molecular geometry for SO3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.